Hi everybody, welcome back. Now, over the past two and a half years, we have shared with you helpful hints and tips, projects, ideas, maintenance tips, how-to videos, product reviews, the list goes on and on. We've shared an awful lot with you guys from our caravan, Lenny the Luna, behind us, and most of it was filmed up here at this storage yard. But today, that all changes. Today, we come to the end of an era. I mean, we're not stopping vlogging or anything. God, no, no. We're just changing our storage location. But I need to explain to you why we are changing location. So let's head on inside because believe me, there is a ruddy great black cloud up there and it's gonna get wet very quickly. So let's head on inside and let's have a chat. Right, now of course I've closed everything up and shut everything down outside. Of course it won't rain, will it? So what's happening? Why are we shifting storage sites? Are we unhappy where we are? Is it the price? Is it the facilities? I'll come back to that in a minute. The reason we are shifting storage centers is purely down to logistics. To get to this storage site, it takes me half an hour to 40 minutes to get here. Now you can imagine if I'm filming, it's an hour round trip to get here, sort things out and then get home. Our caravan over the past two, three years that we've owned it is packed in such a way that it's ready for any eventuality. So what I mean by that is if we go on a service pitch, we've got everything in the caravan to handle a service pitch. If we go onto a site where there is no service pitches, we still have everything in here ready for a service pitch. Whether it's winter camping or summer camping, the caravan generally is packed for all eventualities. And to get over the payload issue and to get over the weight issue, we take a lot of it out of the caravan, throw it into the car and then put it back in the caravan when it's time to uh, arrive and set up, etc. And, and I think that is a problem that we are not alone in. There's a problem that everybody who's in storage sites, which is some distance away from their homes, suffers from. That if it was parked on our driveway, for instance, well, the caravan would be packed specifically for that trip away. So we have found a storage facility, which is literally stone's throw from our house. It's considerably more expensive. Um, the security is good. Um, the, everything about it is, is good. It's just a different storage site. That doesn't mean that there is um, nothing wrong here. There is nothing wrong here. There's a couple of niggling faults with this storage site. There's a couple of things that wind me up about it, but it's nothing that I would say is instrumental in me choosing to pull the caravan off of here. It's purely logistics. We were on our way up here one day and we saw a really big sign that says caravan and motorhome storage inquire here. And it's literally down the road from us. I mean, I could walk there from the house. And we weren't really looking for a storage site. But then I said to my manager, I said, my goodness, look at that. That is literally seven minutes walk away from the house. We could be there now and we could be doing what we need to do. And it started to tick over in our mind and thinking, do you know what? Maybe we should look for another storage site. And that's when the whole process started. So you may ask yourself, well, why didn't we find one closer to home when we first bought the caravan? Well, weirdly, when we first bought the caravan three years ago, this was it. This was the only storage facility in the local area. Now, though, there have been four or five smaller storage sites pop up in the local area and they are all offering competitive rates various levels of security some of them are now COSOA uh, registered the one we are going to will be very shortly you know it's 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 a good time for the caravan industry because there's a lot of storage sites now coming around the only issue we had with this storage site and it's something that's been going on for many many years is the access road to the actual facility now, back when we first started coming up here, it was up a farm track. The farm track was ridiculously choppy and lumpy and it was divots and there was uh, massive holes in the road where it would fill with water. It was a general nightmare. I mean, some of the footage from back then was just unbelievable. But things change. Um, the original owner sadly passed away. Um, his widow picked up, sorted things out and has made a massive improvement on this site. Security has been tightened up. The access road has been dug up and relayed with proper tarmac. 
things have changed for the better at this storage site and it is a fantastic facility. I would recommend it to anybody. I really would. If I bought another caravan and this was the only place, I'd have it in a heartbeat. The people who own it, really nice, very pleasant. The only niggling thing that really does wind me up about this place is the access times. You can come and go as you please, but you have to do it within 9 a.m. to sunset in the winter and 8 a.m. in the summer, which basically means that if you want to get away somewhere early, well, you have to wait till eight o'clock in the summer and nine o'clock in the winter. That is something that aggravates me. It's not really very good. I understand completely why they do it, because the insurance doesn't allow people to be manoeuvring caravans in the dark in the middle of nowhere. So when we went and searched for this new site, well, we came up with uh, the list of facilities that this new storage site came, came with. Well, first of all, it's got extremely tight security. It's very shortly going to have a wash bay with a scaffold uh, rung, so you can walk around and you can clean your roof. You park your caravan in the bay and you can get up onto the walk around and you can clean your roof. On-site servicing, no problems at all. Just move your caravan to the service bay and you can have somebody service it there ready for you. But what's really nice about it is the access to the main road. It's literally a couple of minutes drive away from the motorway junction, which basically means that we can pick up Chloe from school, head straight to the caravan and out to the motorway. And it's in one trip out. So it's lovely for us. The price is significantly higher. I won't tell you what it is, but it's significantly higher than what we pay here. But at the end of the day, it's not down to price. And that's why we're moving. Nothing bad, nothing horrendous. We haven't fallen out with anybody. Um, I would recommend this one to anybody, this site. This one is Swindon Caravan Storage. It's run by Claire and overseen by Derek. Um, Derek is a very funny chap, lovely guy. Um, had a lot of very funny conversations with him over the past. Complete wildlife nut and he loves bird watching. And if you ever do come up here, ask him about his, um, his raptors and, uh, and everything that he used to look after in Australia. Very interesting fellow. And Claire is lovely. She's just really gentle, very kind and very thorough and uh, make sure that everything is running sweet up here. Now you probably can see that behind me here there is more chippings and there's more um, things that are ready to go down. And they are going to be put down around this storage area up on the access roads to all the individual um, pitches, which means that again, the facilities and the general infrastructure here is being improved again. So, you know, they've got lots of things in the pipeline. It's all happening and all for the better. Once they've sorted this out, I'm sure the storage yard will be extended that way as well to add a few more vans in here because demand is so high. But if you are in the area and you do need yourself a local um, storage facility, give these guys a call. Um, people come and go quite a bit. Um, obviously we are now. Maybe you can have this pitch that we are vacating ourselves. So there we go guys. I thought I'd just give you an idea of what's happening here. Um, we are literally just about to hitch up the car to the caravan and pull it out for the very last time. So I'll speak to you soon. Take care now. Bye bye.